Om nom 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 nom. What a tasty health bar. Om nom 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 nom. That's the exact feeling when playing FV201. British tier 7 heavy tank. I'm Neil and this is my review. History is very short. After Second World War, the project FV200 was started which consisted of multiple designs of all uses, like different types of tanks, self-propelled guns and so on. In 1952, FV201 hull was combined with Centurion Mark II turret and such tank was uh, named FV221 Carnarvon. Rest of the story you can find in my video about Conqueror. In the world of Tanks Blitz, this tank is a very interesting addition to the gameplay. What you have noticed probably from the first sight, it looks almost the same as Carnarvon, with just a bit small differences. It feels like a Navan, but mixed with Churchill, but let's go through the aspects of the tank one by one. Let's start with the most disappointing part and that's the top speed. This tank has one of the best heavy tank power to weight ratios in a tier. It gets up to the speed quite quickly, but then you get very disappointed by its capped top speed to 31 km per hour. This feels so slow, it reminds me the top speed disappointment of Centurion 1. You feel the tank wants to go faster, but transmission says no, that's all I can do. This top speed makes it second slowest tank in a straight line right after the Black Prince. Well, don't get me wrong, it doesn't feel sluggish. Like many other heavies, it's still agile tank, just the top speed makes me wanting to go faster after pretty good speed pickup. So for all around mobility, it's thumbs up. For top speed, it's big thumbs down. Moving on to the armor. The whole armor is quite average and you can bounce shot or two, but I wouldn't really rely on it. Everyone who knows where to aim and how to aim at least a bit will go through your armor into the hull without any issues. Third is a different topic. While the armor values do not sound that impressive, the turret have quite complex shape which is also very well angled, so I feel you can rely on the third armor and if you would wiggle a bit and keep move from one side to other, you can really bounce really big shells. Commander's hedge is also pretty small, so common weak spot is also not that easy to hit. So for hull, thumbs down, for turret, it's thumbs up. And now to the most interesting and best aspect of the tank, the gun. And boy, this is a monster, a monster with big M. It have the same gun as the Black Prince and you know that will hurt you. With all provisions and rammer you will miss only one damage to reach magic 3000 damage per minute. And 3000 damage in tier 7, that's a mad number. While Black Prince can do 3% DPM more, it won't get into the position so fast. So FV201 feels it can do way much more damage than a Black Prince. While its pen is not great, you can aim at weak spots and if you'll miss one shot, who cares, you'll shoot in 3.2 seconds again. This combined with the best aim time and gun dispersion makes it awesome tank even for sniping. But why would you do that? Because FV201 eats enemies health bars for a breakfast and a lunch and for a dinner. I experienced countless times I did 3 kills in less than 30 seconds. Sure, not a full health, but in 32 seconds you shoot 10 times, and that's still 10 different targets. I know there are only 7 red tanks, but still, you can choose how you will distribute your damage with ease. And there is really not much reason to run, only tank I would be afraid to face would be probably a black print. This RPM is great for tracking enemies as well and seeing them panicking as they lose their whole health bars in a second. There is one downside to such rapid fire. You tend to tunnel vision your targets way too often as you focus all the time on landing shots. So you might miss someone flanking you. Okay, enough of RPM and aim and other awesome aspects of the gun. But one last thing, 8 degrees of gun depression makes it an awesome even around the ridges. So, a bit of conclusion. 
this tank is one amazing machine. It is so easy to deal the damage with this one, so I guess it will get nerfed in some point. And I'm really not actually sure if the question if you should get this one tank makes any sense. Of course you should. As I say, it is amazing tank with amazing gun and makes people soon to run in panic. Gun is same as on the Black Prince, but giving up a bit of an armor in favor of higher mobility makes this machine much more dangerous animal in this jungle. I love it and I think you would do as well. And that's it, review done. So if you made it to this point in video, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, you know what to do, every content maker already told you to do so. And I hope I see you in next video and by the time have a great games and loads of ammo boxes.